Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I'd asked, but I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything. Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son Isaac will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. Alright everybody, this is John Hambo and today we are playing The Binding of Isaac and I'm going to start a brand new save just for you guys. Here we go. If I can find it. Collection. Delete save. Everything's deleted. This game is brand new. If, will this work? Okay, good. Uh, so everyone, this game is The Binding of Isaac. It is about $6 on Steam. I have 40 hours played on it at the minute. Well, I did and now I don't. And I'm going to start a brand new game, as Isaac. Let's go! Alright, so the point of this game is that you are a little boy called Isaac, who is being chased by his mum. And his mum wants to kill him. You get the whole point of the game. It's a very fun and very addicting game, besides the fact that it's very... I'm not going to say low quality, but it's... it's it's an indie game, and I will explain every item as we go along. This item is Bloody Lust. It puts up his damage by 0.28 for everything killed. It's quite a bad item actually, but uh, it resets with every room. So if I kill this, I am now at 0.28 damage more than I was, and now it's, it's just gone. So it's an okay item. It's not very good at all, but. At the same time, it's an item nonetheless. It helps me kill more things and not take damage. And finally, kill the boss, which is Mom at the end. Or hopefully, depending on how long uh, this episode lasts, depending on how far I get. I'm hoping to kill Mom in my first game, but I may not. You may have to stick around to episode 2 to see me actually kill Mom, which would be kind of funny. I'm not the best at this game by far. There are a lot of more people who are so much better than me at it, but I know a lot about the game, so I wanted to do a series about it. Uh, spiders I really hate because they just slide across the room, but that room was fine. And these are our boss rooms. This boss is Pin, he is a worm, and he's black. This is Champion Pin, the black pin. Uh, this one will shoot in all directions, in a sort of hexagonal shape. Pin's a really easy boss, I'm going to use the Oh, I thought that was the chariot. It's the emperor. It's normal pin now. That's, that worked out kind of good, but kind of bad at the same time. I thought I had the chariot. Uh, the emperor was a tarot card, which would teleport you to the boss's room. 
but I was already in the boss's room. I, was, I thought it was the chariot, which was a disability for a certain amount of time. But nothing can be done about that. Um, pin, very easy boss. This is the first floor. There are six floors, I believe, before Mom, and you have to kill Mom at the end of the game because she's trying to stab you with a knife. And that wins the game at the start. Uh, the game gets harder as you go along. Pin just bombed himself. This is the box. It gives you one of every item pickup that you can get during the floor. And also gives your skin a little box-like uh, animation. The same thing with the, uh, the Bloody Raid. gives you a sort of John Rambo-esque bandana. This is a pill. You take the pill, you get bombs or key, which swapped the amount of bombs and the amount of keys that I had, which wasn't a big deal because I have one of each. So it wouldn't do anything. I just picked up a bomb and a key, so now I've got two. Uh, this is the shop. You can go into the shop and buy items for a certain price. Usually hearts and things are... A uh, red heart's three, heart, uh, three cents in the, in the top left corner. A uh, spirit heart is five. You can see that my tears are actually red right now. And that is because of bloody lust increasing my damage with every mob that I kill. It's a great item, but it doesn't work as well as it should, honestly. Um, there's also a list of special items in the game, where the, in the list it's 57 items and say 40 of them are good, and the other 17 are not. Uh, if you pick up one of these items, it severely decreases the risk. Ah, uh, it severely decreases the risk of. Uh, Sorry, not the risk, the chance of picking up another item that's similar to it and is on the special items list. So it's very bad to pick up things like Bloody Lust usually, but because we just started and we haven't unlocked all the items that we could, I'm not too bothered for picking it up right now. Uh, there's also a unique feature with this game where if you do the boss without taking any red heart damage, you get a deal with the devil room which will allow you to trade some of those red hearts for some good items which I will be looking to get right now because I have half a soul heart so if I get hit more than twice well if I get hit twice then I've lost the chance for a deal with the devil uh, this is the black widow pretty easy you can just dodge perpendicular to the black widow it also spawns little mobs which I can kill for my bloody lust rage and that will give me more damage I also believe that if the black widow itself shoots its own enemy or jumps on its own enemies, uh, it will give me the bloody lust raid as well. So far I haven't taken any damage, but that could be likely to change. Okay, we're good, we're good. I got hit by the black widow. Now, as I said, I'm not the best at the game, but I try. Now there's still a chance of getting oh, I got the radioactive spider. There's still a chance of getting the deal with the devil room on these floors, but you can't get it on the first floor, which would be cellar slash basement one. Uh, it's cellar because I have the Wrath of the Lamb DLC pack, or you can't get it on basement one, and you can't get it. Well, there's a a lot lower chance of getting it whenever you take damage on the boss room, which is Red Heart. I uh, crack this guy. I don't have a space bar item at the minute, so I will take it. What it does is it will shine rays of light through the ground into your enemy's faces and hopefully hit them, but it's random. This is a curse room. Uh, you take half a heart of damage as you pass, pass the door, but it sometimes has very good items, so I'm going to try it. It gave me two pills. One of those pills is Bombs or Key, I'll take that. The other pill is Telepills, which teleported me out, meaning that I didn't take any damage going out. I'm happy to leave that tarot card, which I think was Wheel of Fortune. I'm happy to just leave that because I don't really care. Now, there are rooms that, which aren't actually on the map in the top left, which are called the secret rooms. They are usually surrounded by three normal rooms, which means that if I bomb these walls, the secret rooms should appear in one of the two. There we go. And it usually has money inside it. So I have 11 cents. It's not quite enough for the shop, but since I have three keys, I may as well go and check out the shop. I although I have no bombs, so if I see a bomb right now I might buy it. No bombs, there's a key, and there's a tarot card, and there's the treasure map. The treasure map will show you the full layout of the rooms without actually showing you the icons. Uh, we just picked up the devil, which was a card that gives us plus two damage for a room. It's the same effect as a later item called the Book of Belial. 
Down into the next floor, it's Caves 1. Let's see what mods we can get. There's a fistula. Uh, there's a neat little trick with fistula where if you kill him, uh, he will divide, and if you kill him again, he will go into these little, like, silkworm type things. But if you kill him there over a gap, he will not spawn those silkworms, so he'll just die instantly, which is great. Didn't happen for me there, though. I got a key. Uh, the safety cap, by the way, is a trinket in the top left. It will increase my chance of getting pills throughout the drops. It will decrease the chance of other drops that aren't pills, and increase, therefore, the chance of getting pills. Uh, I'll use my Crook the Sky in the next room, I think, just to show you that it... Yeah, it's, it's quite useless, but it's better than having no spacebar item. Slightly. Uh, these are Globins, they follow you around the room, and then they go into these little, like, goo states, and then they come back up if you don't kill them within a certain amount of time. Easy enough, they're quite slow, quite easy to predict. Uh, these are hosts, and they pop up and shoot you periodically. They're easy to dodge if you just dodge around the room. Stupid flies. Alright, let's go into my item room, let's see what I can get. I can get teleport, which is, yeah, it's better than crack the sky, I'm gonna keep it. And there's a neat feature, it just teleports you about the rooms. There's a neat feature with this though, this is the challenge room. Once I pick up the contents of that chest, the doors will lock and mobs of enemies will spawn. But I can just pick up the contents of the chest, use it, take my card, take my bomb, and get out of here. I did get hit unfortunately, but nothing I do about that. There's my boss room. Uh, I might want to visit the shop. I have three bombs, so I can go visit the secret room and maybe get a chance. Ow, oh, that's bad damage. A chance of some money, which will allow me to more likely go to the secret room. Here's a pill, we don't know what it is. Let's use it. Tears up. That increases my fire rate, which increases my DPS, which makes me a happy man. So, more than likely, I will go and go to the shop, go to the secret room, find money be a happy man. Uh, in the shop you can find different things. You can find the map, which will obviously show you the full layout of the floors without the icons. You can get the compass, which will show you just the icons and not the actual floors, and, or the paths to get to the icons themselves. Uh, you will get the ladder, which is nigh on useless. It allows you to cross a one block gap like you see here. I can cross over this way. Um, there's some other things that you can get. You can get the 9-volt the to the battery, which just increase the charge time, or decrease the charge time, increase the charge in ability of your spacebar item. But because I have terrible spacebar items, I'm not too concerned if I get one of those. Uh, safety cap or go-to. I'm going to take go-to. It gives you a passive plus 2 speed, which is quite good. Uh, this is another item that I forgot to mention. This is Mom's Purse, which is actually great for me, because if I pick it up, it means I can have two trinkets instead of one. So this safety cap I can just pick up, and now I have two trinkets. Uh, that'll be good later on whenever I get actual decent trinkets, which I want to keep, like Cancer or any anything else. Cancer doubles my fire... well, not quite. It, it has minus two to the delay of your fire which with the max fire rate doubles, but with lower fire rates can mean a slightly less increase. I looked for the secret room, I found it. I got Bob's Rotten Head, which I'm going to take actually. It just fires a passive uh, space bar uh, poison bomb. Alright, so this boss is Chubb. He charges at you. I just poisoned him with Bob's Rotten Head, but unfortunately damaged myself in the process. But Chubb is going to die. Chubb is going to die. There we go. I got some of the hearts back that I lost trying to fight Chubb. And I want a good boss item like the Pentagram, which would give me more damage. I, I kind of need more damage because I have base right now. That's health up. I'll just take it because I may as well. Uh, I don't want to go anywhere else on the room, so let's go down. Two more floors until we get to fight Mom. These are bomb flies. Shoot them, they blow up. They don't actually path towards you, they just have a, a pathing that they can go. Oh, that was close. So, once you've got a one down, ow. 
It'll hopefully blow up and create some sort of chain reaction. I don't have the range for this, honestly. Ah, I'm just taking the worst amount of damage right now. There we go. Random troll bomb. Alright, I hit these. These are chargers. They can charge towards you. And they have quite a bit of health, so I'm gonna hit at least once more in this room. If I don't, I'm a miracle worker. Alright, just keep my range, and I'm good. I want that hard after I kill these, though. And Bloody Lust is doing a little bit for us, giving us rage, giving us more damage, more damage, more better. I didn't actually mean to do that, I didn't realize I only have one key, but I'll take this pill, which is range up, which is great. Uh, obviously, puts up the amount of, or the distance that my tears can travel before they dissipate. Oh, wow. A spirit heart from a fire. That's why I destroy all those fires, it's just a thing that, uh, that was bad damage. Every once in a while you'll get like a spirit heart or some coins or something good. Uh, these just spirit flies and sometimes blow up in my face. They don't do contact damage, but they do sometimes blow up. Uh, Alright, gonna try and find the item room, maybe the shop. Although the shop now has a 50% chance of spawning a mini boss instead of the actual items itself. Uh, which would be bad for me because it doesn't spawn the items, which I sort of need. Not really, we're sort of in good order, but we need more damage. And the shop doesn't give us any damage. Uh, I keep knocking these into the spikes, which is good. They just uh, Similar to the red hosts, these ones have a shell, which means that they can't be damaged. I'm gonna see, yep, yeah, okay. They can't, they can't be damaged while they're down in their state of... Uh, where you just see the skull. It's a protective barrier, but I'm just going to sit here and hopefully blow it up. There we go. I'll get that bomb on the way back. These just... Sh yeah, they're big fat bombs. Or, not bomb flies. Uh, silkworms, they just shoot at you. They like to go more horizontal than vertical, I find. So, if you can shoot them vertically, it's somewhat better. But it doesn't really matter. This is a pill that I haven't seen. There are six pills in the rotation and they can all be different things or one or two can be the same thing. So hopefully I don't get a bad pill. Health down, that was terrible. Oh my god. I don't have any keys because I used it on that stupid chest. But it doesn't really matter. I got a range up to the chest anyway. So hopefully... Ah, no, 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 no. Hopefully I can get another key and not have to skip the item room to get a lack of keys. Come on, one place. No one bomb flies. One. Get you all. No. Nope. Uh, I'm gonna have to sit in this corner just like this. Time. There we go. Now my bloody lust is getting me to shoot red tears again. Uh, once I get enough damage, I'll be able to do that all on my own. I hate this room. It's sort of hard to shoot diagonally on Isaac. Well, for me, because I'm a scrub. Ow! I'm not the best at this game, and I just took all the damage that I shouldn't have taken. Taken? Taken. Come on, pop up. Nope. I want to try and focus a shot on this round one instead. Avoiding the spikes as I go. There we go. Uh, you can get orbitals to... Yeah, orbit obviously around you, or you can get followers as well, which sometimes they help, sometimes they don't. It all depends on which ones you get. I'll notify you whenever we get each one. Come on. Jump up. There we go. Alright. I'll not go to the boss just yet because I'm feeling a little bit weak for this floor. Simply because I haven't got any damage. I have got a tier rate up, I believe, and a range up, but damage is the main thing that I need. I do have charge on my spacebar item, but I really want to go into the shop, or the item room actually, and see what I can get from those. The shop might be good, but if I have one game, I'm going to go for the item room because the shop has a 50% chance of containing a mini boss instead of the actual items that you would normally see. Globins just straight around them. And funnily enough, even if I don't kill them, if I get them in that goo state though, uh, Bloody Love still charges so I can sort of farm rage if I wanted to. I believe, is this pill range up? T 
gears up, we need to move. I'd rather have fire rate. We may use the devil on the room as well, on the uh, the boss room, depending on what the boss is. Ah, fistulas. Easy enough. The bikes break over the gaps, they don't spawn anything, but I don't think I got that many over the gaps. Ow. I'm really bleeding health. I'm really playing bad, honestly, for um, posting this to YouTube, but I wanted to get a video out, show y'all what I'm doing, what's going to be appearing in this future. And this is episode one. I just restarted, don't forget, so hopefully I can pull out some skill recently. I have been playing bad. I will try to bomb here and see if I can bomb into my shop, which I cannot. Uh, the only other chance for the secret room will be in this other little three, three door cubby hole. And I'm looking kind of bad because I have one and a half hearts only. Uh, I should be able to kill the boss depending on what it is. If we get a bad boss, then maybe not. Wrath of the Lamb makes this game quite hard, but this isn't the Wrath of the Lamb floor, so I shouldn't get the boss. There are some bosses that are absolutely terrible with Wrath of the Lamb, so I'm hoping for, like, a horseman. Oh, Peep. Peep fires P at you, he jumps on you. He does everything that's bad. He is immune to bombs, I forgot about that. God damn it. And once you get him down to two thirds of his health, he will spawn a invincible eye, which will float about the room, damaging you. Which is just that thing there. Trying to jump on me again? No, you don't. Trying to jump on me again? No, you do not. All right, so we're in good order, I suppose. We haven't got hit yet. Don't jinx it. And when he gets to a third health, he will pop out his other eye. There we go. And now it's just a matter of dodging these eyes. Ow, I did not even see that. As I say, dodging these eyes, I failed to do that. And dodging the little shots of pee that he fires at us. Oh god, I have a heart of health. This is clutch mode. This is clutch mode. Come on. Die, 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 die. Okay, good. He was dead. I have gotten an M Splunker. And this is the most terrible boss item I could ever have hoped for. It's Cat of Nine Tails. It gives me shot speed up, which will obviously make the speed of my projectiles fired faster, which I really hate because it increases knockback, which makes enemies do things which are terrible, fly about the room, hit me randomly, and it also makes it harder for me to aim my shots diagonally and things, even though I've been doing that terribly. So I'm not going to take it, I'm just going to leave it there. Opens again. I'm going to use a bomb here. That was terrible, that was terrible, that was terrible, that was terrible, that was terrible. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Alright, so we made up by dying. That was just bad. I actually really needed that heart, so that's good that I got it. I also needed the key. These are hoppers. They jump down sometimes. And do this like four way tear shot. Which is really annoying because I get caught off by these too much. Especially when a lot of them doing it once. Oh, we are just bleeding damage, hemorrhaging health. Oh my god. This could be the end, my friend. No, 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 no. Okay, and we didn't use the devil that last floor, which I should have on peep. Range up, I'll take it. And I'm really precarious. Globins, one of them has his eyes open, that's a gazing Globin. Uh, he does the same thing, but moves slightly faster, and I will use the devil here. Moves slightly faster, and when you put him in his goo state, he will run away from you, so it's it's kind of hard to kill him over the others. I'm not dead. Clutch mode, activate. Come on. Oh god. Oh man, oh god. Alright, we got through that without taking any damage, which was a miracle. Now we have a full heart. We can take two hits of any normal thing. Don't want these to spew out random shots because that's bad. It's random. It's bad. Random is bad. I do have quite a bit of range though, so I can probably just hit them from here. Yep, okay, we're good. Alright. That was 
appropriate. Um, nothing I can do right now. Hoppers. Oh god, no, 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 no. Bomb hoppers. Bomb everything. If you get close to them, I don't believe that they hop as much, so I'm gonna try and stay with them. Ah, um, we died. So tell me if you want some more episodes of this. Tell me what you want from the channel, from EN Gaming, and from me myself. I'm John Hambo, and I'm out.